Council met in session November 7th, 5.30 in Council Chambers, a fairly short meeting. Um, went through the consent agenda. Uh, we had two public hearings on the tax abatement program that provides uh, five years of tax abatement for any new single or multifamily home. So we had two more. Uh, I think this is number three and four since we've started the project. Uh, Patrick and Angela Hardy uh, are going to have a house out on 3500 6th Street Northeast. The valuation is estimated at $450,000. Um, and the total abatement over the five years would be roughly $10,130. Council approved that in conformance with the Austin Homes Initiative. Uh, so that item was um, approved. Uh, Bigelow Lennon also have one on uh, 1411 and 1413 28th Street Southwest. This is a town home, um, twin home down in, on 28th Street Southwest. Uh, estimated value of 500000 and tax abatement of roughly eleven thousand two fifty five. Uh, this is their third project down in that area. The first one to get tax abatement. Um, this is a spec home, so it's encouraging. We see a builder wanting to move forward on a project on a speculative, speculative basis um, and provide more housing in the community. Uh, shows a good market demand, um, so we're encouraged by that. Uh, so council approved those two Austin Home Initiative projects. Those are going well. I know there's been several out in the county as well, so a uh, good introductory period for that effort by the council. We also had uh, ordinance approval for or adjustment for food wagons. Uh, we will allow those in the municipal parking lot uh, and then the brick furniture parking lot as well as the one over, we call it the former library lot over by the Methodist Church uh, in the downtown. So this is kind of a new opportunity we had an interested vendor that wanted to try it, so we'll be, we move forward in um, allowing those provisions um, within some city parking lots in the downtown area. We um, also approved a joint powers agreement allowing our prosecuting uh, attorney uh, for police matters to have access to an electronic system with the state. We also approved a three-year labor agreement with IAFF, the, our firefighters union in town, um, so that'll take uh, the agreement through 2019 with them. Um, so the council approved that. We also had health insurance rates for 2015 for both uh, um, aligned workers and non-bargaining units. Council approved those contributions increases for employees and the city's contribution increases a little bit as well uh, to try to deal with the rising cost in health care that many people have seen that's not missed on uh, our plans as well. Uh, we in extended a contract for snow removal at the municipal airport and a variance request for the Oakland, Oakland Place Bridge that uh, Stephen Lang presented. Uh, we'll have to go to St. Paul to ask for a variance as part of the Oakland Place Bridge project to allow state aid to be used as part of that project. Um, and then we accepted a grant for some radios for the fire department and that pretty well wrapped up the council meeting uh, for Monday night. If you have any questions on this or any other item, please feel free to give me a call, 437-9941. would love to hear from you. Or shoot me an email at craigc at ci.austin.mn.us. Thanks so much. We look forward to joining us on the next uh, recap of the council meeting.